trying to get Prometheus on the attack, perhaps pushing Technolees towards not the Zayda A, but towards the CPZ, towards Bash in the corner there. Now against the arena sidewalls. Great power here from Prometheus, actually. 80 kilo, slightly the heavier robot, not much in it actually, about a kilo. Now Tenerly spiked, but is that smoke coming out of Prometheus, I wonder? Time is ticking down, are both these robots still mobile? The house robots ready to pounce. What will be the outcome of this? Cease. Mrs. Pavarotti thought she had it hard when she gave birth to Luciano, but not even she had to do that much pushing. Obviously a draw. That's a very powerful machine. It's incredible, that they have. yeah. To lock horns with this unit and and, uh, yeah. and go one to one. Very powerful. My hats off to, to those guys. Good sure. match. It was fun. Yeah, for an electric to push gas like that, it takes a lot of power. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Phenomenal. Good match. Mm -hmm. Phenomenal. Not what you expected. No. No, we didn't expect that kind of power out of him. Not at all. No, Eric, I have to say, it's been in and out of that arena, and it's still clean, nice and shiny. Yeah, How do you do it? It's typical Dutch. How do you keep everything so tidy yeah. all the yeah. time? Is it a Dutch trade? I think so. Sometimes, Is it? yeah. Whereas the rest of nice all technology, yes. <laughs> Not like the Americans. Loud and noisy. Ooh, steady, Eric. That sounds like fighting talk to me. A point each for America and Holland. Let's find out how those Australian boys are doing back in the pits. Thankfully, the Irish lads um, have, have, have helped us out here. <laughs> there's one. <laughs> yeah, there's one. <laughs> and, um, yeah, they've, they've basically lent us their second robot because oh, we had some aerial. Yeah. technical difficulties with our old one, so... Goodness sake. I don't think I've ever seen such last-minute preparations. Guys, have you explained to them what weaponry... They... I don't have to hold this all the way through. No, what okay. weaponry they've got and how it works. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's got nothing robot. and we're going to beat them. <laughs> <laughs> no, You're not gonna... fighting against Just each other as well. Yeah, we are. We want to check it's it out worse, the isn't it? <laughs> Philippa, they will be fighting, not quite yet. Let's go back to the battle that never was. Belgium against Australia with the Diotior Irish team lending the Aussies nemesis. Then a stroke of good sportsmanship. The main weapon is a pneumatic spear. G'day, I'm Nick. I'm Rodney. And I'm Peter. And this is Terra Australis. Australis. Well, this is our robot here. It's a, it's a big, mean fighting machine. Stainless steel cover, two millimeters thick. We've got cutting and piercing weapons. Um, hopefully these things will do a bit of cutting damage. Spikes in the back here. Just a, more spiking and ramming. And a great big uh, Roman short sword out the front. We're hoping to do a serious bit of damage with this baby. Right. Let's see how we go. Meanwhile, Depopasaurus just waits patiently for its first taste of oil. And engines grease. Stand by. Let's be honest, the Australian boys haven't got a clue about that one, have they? Not the faintest idea. Three, two, one, activate. Philippe and Nancy Pope with Poposaurus easing away from the left. Let's hope that the nemesis Terra Australis team don't turn out to be a duck billed flatter wuss like your last entry, Aussies. Loud, they said. Mm, Australian. Loud, but not so proud so far. The Poposaurus trying to get that lifting flipper into gear. This is uh, Peter, Nick and Rodney, the Australian boys. Now, you don't really want to be on top of that lifting flipper. The Poposaurus isn't the speediest around the arena floor. Only eight miles an hour. Now, you'll see speed come into play in this international competition when the house robots are flying around. You need to be nippy to avoid them. The lifting arm up underneath Nemesis, which is a Robot Wars veteran, actually. Hoping hard through war after war. But now representing Australia. There's Philippe at the controls. He loves his motorbikes. Wants to own a bike shop one day. There's a skull and crossbones on the side of Poposaurus. There's the great cutting, scything blade at the side of Nemesis, or we'll call it Terra Australis. They're enjoying it. Well, they've got to grips with the controls 
readily as try and ticks down. Both will be mobile at the end, and I should think it'll be a point of peace for Australia and for Belgium. Push, shove, give, take, honours, even a point each for Terra Australis and the Coptosaurus in the pits now with Philippa. Uh, oh, no. A bad call from the judges. Yeah? Yeah. He's been up with that. Yeah. Uh, uh, they're the boss, eh? Take So. Hmm? Why is it? Hmm. <laughs> but just tell me, why do you think it was a bad call? We almost lifted them, we were dominant all the way, and we lost. I don't think it's fair, but we're in England, eh? <gasps> oh, no! <laughs> we're fair, you can't say that. I don't think they were more aggressive. Sure, they had the flipper, which kind of worked towards their advantage, but they didn't manage to flip us in the end. So I think a draw is, is as good as we could have hoped for, and I think we're quite happy with the result, yeah. And the rules are clear. Both robots are mobile. It's a point apiece for Belgium and Australia. On to Group B, Razor against Prometheus. Oh, Philip has got bad news from the pits. It's Prometheus smoking, and we're all choking. What's going on? We officially have to retire. Oh, why? Yeah, we have no movement. We're, we're <laughs> okay. dead, so Is it with true no that movement, we wouldn't do too well. Out? Yeah, yeah. So we're done for this event. Oh, no. Yeah. There's no way of fixing, though. What's wrong in there? <laughs> now we're finished. You but must be gutted. Gutted. Yeah, uh, disappointed. Yeah, yeah, we're 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 bummed. Yeah. <laughs> bummed, gutted. We all know the feeling. Sorry, yeah. it's such a shame to see you go, but thank you very much. Okay, it's okay. been great. Thank you. What a pity. Never mind. England get three points with the bye, and let's go back to Group A. It's Ireland against Australia using an Irish machine, of course. From Era, Deator. The team great fun Robot Wars veterans. Jotua has a hydraulic lifting spring arm, a very low ground clearance. Will it annihilate the rest, as its name would suggest? I'm Joe Gavin. Kieran Bourne. I'm Peter Redmond, and this is Deator, son of Nemesis. We're representing Ireland in the International Robot Wars competition, and this is the weapon that we're going to be using to destroy all the rest of the robots. It's hydraulically cocked on these large car springs. Comes all the way down, so let's push with this bar here, and then we can fire it and hopefully throw all the rest of the robots over. Be interesting here, because Terra Australis, a.k.a. Nemesis, from the Giotior team, is a prototype of Giotior. Be interesting to see how far the Irish have progressed and what lessons they've learned. This is Giotior. At the controls, Peter Redman Three, in the centre. Two, and Terra Australis one. at the controls, Rodney Gullix. When you think that most roboteers struggle to build one competitive machine, the Irish boys have built two here, representing Australia. Terra Australis now, of course, in the yellow, with the Roman blade in the front. Rodney at the controls, lifted up, though, by that hydraulic lifting spring arm of Giotior. Both these machines have an adjustable and very low ground clearance capability. A smile on the face of Joe Gavin on the right-hand side in the Jotior cherry pickup. Birds <laughs> already flying, though, on the arena floor, which is sort of standard practice if you know Jotior. Crumpled at the back, it seems, as well, but doing all the aggressive work here and trying to get in underneath Terra Australis. This was the, the change in the two robots from the Irish team, that lifting arm. And it certainly looks an effective weapon. And Terra Australis towards the pit and in. And a victory for Diotior. Three points for the Irish. And now the great challenge to take on the house round. <laughs> One of the eyes has come off. It's on fire as well. To take on Killalot. And the chasing Killalot here. Diotior across the arena floor. That's army. Oh, lovely stuff, lovely stuff. A victory, but at what cost? <laughs> they love it, don't they? Well, the victory means that Ireland are in control of the group. Terra Australis are now out. They can't qualify. We will be seeing them later on, though, in the programme. You came up with the goods. 
But the goods just weren't enough. Not quite. No, not quite. But we did a bit of damage. We tore plenty of fur off, and we, we did, did. <laughs> and we did manage to disable their weapon. So, it's big, big gash in the front. We were talking to them and said it's disabled. We believe them. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think they're trying to make you feel better, maybe? Probably. Possibly. <laughs> I always wanted to go with that one. That was great fun. Oh. Her last one. <laughs> oh. The end of the eyes. The eyes have it. Tell you, them Aussies are vicious. Yeah. <laughs> These are lumps out of us. Look. But look, are you ever going to be ready to fight again? Oh, yeah. Don't How know, quickly? actually. Yeah, we don't know. Right we have to check. Shunt there. gave us a whack of a hatchet right in Where? the electronics. Oh. Nasty place. <laughs> Painful. Yeah, it's not nice to get a smack in the electronics. <laughs> I wouldn't have thought it was. Rings, tears, your eyes. <laughs> From England, Razor. In the battle to settle Group D, the Sweeney Todd of Robot Wars can cut anything down to size with its great crushing beak. Specialist hardened sheet steel gives it a solid feel. 